Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node and React JS series, we will learn how we can integrate Delete Product API. In previous video, we created API in Node JS, and now we are integrating that API in React JS. So first of all, we will add a Delete button with the every row, so that whenever we will delete on the click on that button, our product will be deleted from our list and from database also. And uh, after that, to call this API, we have to make a function. And inside this function, we will call API. And then we will test our complete flow. And this is my Instagram account if you want to follow me there. And please subscribe my channel also. So now let's uh, get back to the code and uh, add a delete button with the every row. So for that, let's go to the product component. So let's just click on it and now I am adding a heading list here which is let's say operation why I am putting here operation the reason being because we will add here two operation first one for uh, uh, delete the product second one for update the product and the update product we will uh, uh, implement in the upcoming video now we are just focusing on delete uh, operation so after that we have to add here one more list and uh, let's make a button here and that could be a text here could be a text which is delete and now you can see that uh, this is fine so let's call a function on this delete button click and uh, now let's uh, create that function let's say our function name is delete product and i think i just made some mistake here because uh, uh, i think i just add here two curly braces we don't need the two curly braces only one is fair enough here and uh, now that's fine and let's define this delete product function we don't, we don't need this console so now let's take a const delete product and let's create a callback uh, arrow function and let let's just console the id first so that we can check that this is working fine or not and this id will be came in uh, parameter and let's just pass the id from here so how we can get this id item dot underscore id id is already present that is the actually product id is already present inside the item so now let's try to call it and let's see that this is working fine or not so whenever i will just click on any button we are getting the id to the respected product product great so one more thing uh, whenever we are reloading that page we are getting an error here you can see that this is actually coming because we have to add a unique key so item dot underscore id could be a unique key and now you will find that there is a no error okay, let me just refresh it now there is a no error so now let's call a api on a button click so that we can delete the product so let's simply take a result fetch we can use fetch method and here we will provide the url and this is our delete api url and we have to just provide this uh, id dynamically so how we can do it do that so simply use string or you can say that template string and let's use dollar and uh, curly braces and let's pass the id which is coming from the uh, parameter and we have to define a uh, second parameter which is the object and let's define here method and method will be delete great now this is done and as we know uh, fetch will basically return a promise so we can use here await and await we can use only inside the async function 
and after that our result will be again not in the json format to convert in the json format we have to use result dot json and this json function again return a promise to handle it we will use await and now we can say that if we are getting result then uh, just make a alert here alert product deleted or something and now let's check this is working fine or not so let me try to delete the fifth product whenever i will just click over it you can see that we are getting a delete product and one api is also called if you want to check then you can check it inside the uh, network this is the delete product api preview and this is a response right but it should be delete from here also because you can see that this is deleted inside the database right there is a no micromax product but still product is there because we have to refresh it so why this is not removed from here because this result is coming from the previous api which is coming from uh, product list and uh, uh, this data is not refreshed so how we can refresh it we can call our uh, product api again product list api again so if we are getting a result then we can call this api again and let's see this is working or not so let me delete here uh, fourth product u10 and now you can see that this is deleted and removed from the ui also and definitely deleted from the database also so with that way we can uh, delete our product with the api thank you so much for watching this video if you have any kind of query you can you have any kind of feedback you can ask me in the comment box and please subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much for your time